What's up, Patriots? Uh, it's been uh, quite a day today. Uh, lots happened. Um, give me just a second here before we get kicked off. I just want to or get things kicked off, I should say. Uh, yeah, all right, good. Looks like we're streaming. Let me just make sure we have sound. All right, we're good to go. Uh, yeah, so you, by now you're probably aware that today Democrats were trying to delay um, <clears throat> a vote in the House. And uh, so one of uh, New York State Congressman Jamal Bowman decided to pull a fire alarm uh, and basically triggering the evacuation of the building. One thing that's very strange is uh, I have not seen a video at this point. There clearly is a video because there's a still shot of a video that's being passed around that's showing him pulling the alarm. Why the video itself has not been released at this point. A um, little bit strange. I don't know the answer to that. But for some reason, we have a screenshot of him pulling the lever. But uh, before we actually get into that, let's just take a moment to remind ourselves uh, who this guy actually is. Um, so... Uh, well, let's let let's let him speak for himself here. So let's take a look first at a at New York Congressman Jamal Bowman when Marjorie Taylor Greene was visiting New York City recently. This was Con New York Congressman Bowman. Let's take a look. What inspired that today? Jamal Bowman. What inspired that today? I was born and raised in New York City. This is the city that I love. It's a city focused on hard work and love for all people. We will never accept hateful rhetoric in our city. Any rhetoric that is divisive, any rhetoric that uplifts white supremacy, we are pushing back against that in all its forms. Marjorie Taylor Greene needs to take her ass back to Washington and do something about gun violence, do something about affordable housing, do something about childhood poverty, do something about climate change. Do your freaking job, Marjorie Taylor Greene. You don't need to be in New York City talking that nonsense. Go back to your district. You're not, what are you doing here? You're here for politics. You're here because you want to be the Okay. All right. So you guys get the point. Um, yeah. So he's uh, he's he's against divisive rhetoric. Uh, he, he's uh, he, you know, only unification for um, Congressman Bowman. Uh, and then let's take a look uh, and remind ourselves about the interaction that he had with Thomas Massey uh, on the con <clears throat> the topic of gun control. They're gutless. What They're not here. Talking about? I'm talking about gun violence. You know, there's never been. I'm talking about gun violence. In a school that allows teachers to carry. Carry guns? You think you more guns concert? lead to more death? More guns lead to more death. Look at the data. Gun. You're not looking at any data. The you're data. you're, no, you're carrying the water for the gun lobby. No, no. Look at the data. More guns lead to more deaths. Guns. States that have open carry laws have more death. In every school that states that have open carry laws have more death. Never been a shooting. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah, calm down. That's a, what I'll calm down. Children are dying. All right, so um, yeah, this guy's a Marxist lunatic. He has no self control, clearly, uh, and which was demonstrated today when he decided to uh, pull a fire alarm in uh, to delay the House vote, and actually they had to evacuate the building. The building. So this was, I mean, quite literally, pulled a fire alarm to obstruct an official proceeding. That's that's what happened. I mean, there's there's no other way around it. So I went ahead and I looked up the D.C. laws surrounding pulling a, a, a fire alarm or, or sounding a false alarm. And this is what it says. In the District of Columbia, it shall be unlawful for any person or persons to willfully or knowingly give a false alarm or fire within the District of Columbia. And any person or persons violating the provisions of this subsection shall, upon conviction, be deemed guilty of a misdemeanor and be punished by a fine not more than the amount set forth 
or by imprisonment for n more than six months, not more than six months, or by both such fine and imprisonment. Prosecutions for violation of the provisions of the subsection shall be on information filed, blah, 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 blah. So um, now, th so let's be clear. That's that's the law reg regarding just simply breaking that law, which he did. He did on video, and he we we there's no question. We saw him do it. He pulled the fire alarm, um, and he did so with the intention of obstructing an official proceeding. Now, you might be saying to yourself, "Well, it's, you know, this is a misdemeanor." Uh, yes, it is a misdemeanor, but so are all of the charges, mostly for pretty much every January 6th defendant who walked inside of the Capitol on January 6th through open doors. Now, those are misdemeanors. I myself am a January 6th misdemeanant. Um, I was convicted on a Class B misdemeanor for disorderly conduct for the eight minutes that I spent outside of the Capitol not pulling a fire alarm, <clears throat> not pulling a fire alarm not uh, triggering an incident that caused uh, the fire department to come, the evacuation of the building, or people to uh, you know, have to go and inspect, thinking that the building might have been uh, on fire. I didn't do any of those things. Uh, I was outside of the building for eight minutes and got a disorderly conduct misdemeanor. For that, I spent time in jail, uh, was subject to three months of house arrest, and I'm on three years of federal probation. Uh, most people who walked into the Capitol through open doors are serving 60 to 90 day prison sentences at minimum. Um, some people, of course, are spending years and years in prison, like my friend John Strand, who decided to go to trial. Uh, he was charged with misdemeanors, and uh, he was also charged with a felony of obstructing an official proceeding by entering the Capitol by walking through the open doors. He uh, was convicted on the felony charge of obstructing an official proceeding. He's currently spending almost three years in federal prison uh, in a Miami prison uh, alongside MS MS-13 gang members, things like that. But let's before we even get into that, let's take a look at how we all know how the mainstream media has covered January 6th. Let's take a look at how MSNBC uh, is reporting on what Congressman Bowman did today. Let's take a look. Moving Capitol Hill text chain while I'm here looking at the House floor where Speaker McCarthy is currently on somewhere in the chamber. But Democrats are trying to delay and try to keep this vote open. You heard Jeffrey's talk on the floor for quite a while using his magic minute. Uh, you heard you heard me say that they're huddling now trying to read this bill. Apparently, one of the Democratic members, Jamal Bowman, according to the House Administration Committee, also tried to pull a fire alarm in Cannon this morning. An investigation into why it was pulled is underway, according to the House Admin GOP Chair Brian Stile. But I got to tell you, uh, if this is actually another delay tactic, of course, that is a fine, not only a fine, but he could be arrested by the Capitol Police for doing so. Again, we don't know why he did it, why this happened. I want to be very clear. We're out to his office uh, to find out more information. But this is just really a really high pressure, high stakes situation for Republicans and Democrats. As We don't know why he did it. We're not sure if he did it. We have to reach out to his office. And I love how she just sort of sandwiches it in while they're talking about, oh, well, the Democrats are trying to delay. They're trying to stall. This could be, uh, you know, another delay tactic, another stall tactic. He could get fined. I mean, this could be we don't know. We, we, we just don't know. Um, we don't know f pulling a fire alarm to get the building evacuated to stall the vote to obstruct an official proceeding. Hmm. Well, I know. So if you're confused, MSNBC, just call me because it seems perfectly clear. So the question now, of course, becomes what's going to happen? Will he face any consequences? Uh, you guys tell me in the comments. Actually, I would like to know. Uh, let me pull the comments down, see what you guys have to say, because I'm really curious. Will um, will he be charged with a felony charge of obstructing an official proceeding? Will he be charged with, at minimum, the misdemeanor charge of uh falsely pulling a fire alarm uh, will he be detained in a dc gulag pending his trial for years will he sit in solitary confinement um but there's no other way to view this so it's very it's very interesting whatever is about to happen um because he quite literally obstructed an official proceeding and he 
that's why he did what he did. So, yeah, let's see what you guys have to say. I'm very curious. Give me a second. I'm going to pull the chat down. All right. Suddenly, I have no idea how to pull my chat down. So, uh, I can't read what you guys are saying. But that's all right. Not to worry. Um, but, yeah. Let, let's, let's watch together in real time as we discover, you know... <laughs> what exactly the our two-tiered system of justice how they're going to handle this situation because it seems clear as day that you know they the for the last two and a half years the joe biden doj has said that to obstruct an official proceeding is akin to 9 11 pearl harbor um uh, you know world war ii i you know i i don't know it's literally the worst thing that's ever happened in our country the civil war this is worse than the civil war um so I want to know, is the FBI going to raid this guy? Are they going to take him away? Are they going to put him in a solitary confinement prison cell? Is he going to sit there for years awaiting his trial? Is he going to be found guilty by a D.C. judge and jury? Uh, or is uh, perhaps uh, is his case going to be handled in a very red district where – you know, people at a 97 percent rate vote Republican. Will he go before that kind of jury? Um, I think that uh, we know the answer to these questions. So uh, just once again, two tiered system of justice happening in Washington, D.C. Let's uh, let's see how this all pans out. But um, <sighs> yeah, let me see if I can pull up your chat. G give me just a second. So I want to see. If you guys can still see me. Nothing will come of it, says Amanda Hughes. He tried to pull. The, yeah, yeah. Somebody's pointing out that that MSNBC said that he tried to pull the fire alarm. Yeah, he, well, he was successful. Um, he was actually very successful at pulling the fire alarm. Everybody had to leave. Uh, Gina wants to know, where's the J6 committee now? I'd like to know the answer to that as well. Renee says he did pull the fire alarm. Flags at half mast on future fire alarm day, says Pat Batman four ounce. Yeah, it's crazy. Absolutely insane. Um, I want to take a minute to talk with you guys about what we have coming up with Walk Away and why. Oh, actually, before I talk about what happened. Uh, so let me just say we have coming up November 10th through the 12th in West Palm Beach, walk -a -con. Now, you guys have probably heard me talk a little bit about walk -a -con. Let me show you very quickly the graphic for that so this is a big event that we're doing november 10th through the 12th west palm beach five-year anniversary of walk away with laura trump carrie lake matt schlapp david harris jr tudor dixon shamika michelle misha mayner dan ball from oan comedians alex stein katie hopkins we have dr gina loudon gothics dr simone gold and so many more but before we get into that, I want to show you this great video that we produced. Uh, you need to take a look at this. I think you guys are going to love this. This is the Walk official WakaCon promo video. Please take a look. Dear Walkaway Patriots, the Walkaway campaign team has put together the most amazing weekend for you, November 10th through the 12th in West Palm Beach, Florida, and we need to see each and every one of you there. This incredible weekend we are calling Walkacon. And no, it's not called Walkacon because I'm a convict or because we're all going to be going to prison soon under this current DOJ. It's also not called Walkacon because it rhymes with Shockacon, although it kind of maybe could be that because that would be pretty awesome. Or that it sort of sounds like walk a thon. It's called Walkacon because this is a conferring of patriots coming together for a weekend of unity, of patriotism, of inspiration, of education. And honestly, to have a good time and to have some fun, to boost our morale and remember, that we're going into a big year and victory is going to be ours after four horrible, torturous years. We've been through a lot of ups and downs and Walkway is turning five years old. So it's time for us all to come together and celebrate the good, the bad, the ugly, and to remember that together there's nothing that we can't accomplish. So come to West Palm Beach, Florida. 
So let me tell you a little bit about WakaCon weekend and what you can expect and why this is going to be the greatest weekend of your entire life. It all begins Friday, November 10th. This is going to be an incredible Technicolor stage extravaganza spectacular with amazing speakers like Laura Trump, Matt Schlapp, Carrie Lake, Tudor Dixon, David Harris Jr., Katie Hopkins, Dr. Gina Loudon, Shamika Michelle, Mikey Harlow, Brandon Strzok, I heard, is going to make an appearance. Dan Ball from OAN, recent Walkaway Georgia State Rep Misha Maynard, Gothics, Dr. Simone Golds, Alex Stein, and so many more. Not only are we highlighting incredible personalities that you know and love, but we're doing something really special and unique with this event. We're featuring the real stories of real people who have walked away from the Democratic Party right there on stage Friday night at WakaCon. If you get a VIP ticket or a VIP weekend pass, we'll actually begin Friday night with a cocktail and hors d'oeuvre reception where you get to meet all the speakers and take pictures. Remember how much fun it used to be to get together outdoors, to rally, to celebrate, to unify, to make our voices heard before people became too afraid to get together and exercise your First Amendment rights? Well, we have First Amendment rights. We're going to use them. We're going to get together as a group of patriots and go outside and have an incredible rally together on Saturday. And then Saturday night, we are doing a comedy event with conservative comedians, which is actually called Disorderly Conduct, The Roast of Brandon Strzok. That's right. My team is putting together a team of comedians to roast me, and it's going to be a great time, and maybe even I'll start crying. And then Sunday, we're kicking things off with a brunch with the amazing Carrie Lake as our keynote speaker. And she'll be bringing books. Everyone will get a book. And you could even get your book signed with Carrie Lake and take pictures as well. And then we're ending the entire weekend with a panel discussion that we're calling The True Stories of January 6th. This will be a panel discussion with real January 6th defendants sharing their real stories about what actually happened that day. The truth about what actually happened that day and everything that happened to them subsequent to January 6th from being FBI raided and dragged through the situations that everyone was dragged through with the DOJ. You'll get to hear the firsthand accounts, ask questions, listen and hear the true stories of January 6th. This entire weekend is going to leave you feeling inspired, invigorated, uplifted, and ready to go into 2024 with energy ready to go. We have made this weekend as affordable as possible for everybody. You can literally attend all of those events that I just said for a total of $200, and that includes brunch. That includes a copy of Carrie Lake's book. Or you can get VIP weekend passes to the entire weekend for $500, which includes preferred seating for all of the events, backstage access, cocktail and hors d'oeuvre reception, photos with the speakers. It's really the best deal in town. At these prices, you can't afford not to go to WalkerCon. And if you can't make it for the entire weekend, we also have the option for you to buy single tickets to any individual event. But we highly recommend you getting the weekend passes and come and enjoy the entire weekend with all of us. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. You're going to love it. So here's all you have to do. Just go to walkawayanniversary.com. On that page, we have a full breakdown of everything that's happening the whole weekend. We have flyers and information about all of the events. We have discounted hotels already there for you to make it very affordable for you to find a place to stay. And of course, you can get tickets. Ah, and don't forget to also get your special Walkaway 5th Anniversary t-shirt and hat so you can wear your Walkaway 5th Anniversary t-shirt and hat special edition for Walkaway Walkacon weekend. So many of you ask all the time, what can we do to help support grassroots organizations that are making a difference? Or what can we do to support people who've been through January 6th? This is what you can do. You can come, you can show up, you can be a part of this weekend, you can support. This is how you support grassroots organizations that are making a difference, that are out there fighting and working and taking a lot of abuse along the way. Go to walkawayanniversary.com, get your tickets, get your discounted hotels, come and join us November 10th through the 12th in West Palm Beach, Florida. That's walkawayanniversary.com. I want to see each and every one of you patriots there. Come out, support, be a part of this incredible weekend. It is going to be a weekend you will never forget, and you're truly going to love it. That I can promise you. Go to walkawayanniversary.com. I'll see you all at WalkerCon. I love it. So, uh, first of all, big shout out to Mike Harlow, Walkway Zone, uh, for that great 
editing on that video. He did an amazing job. That was uh, Mike Harlow editing spectacular spectacular job so this is walker con um this is going to be as you guys just saw a three-day weekend november 10th through the 12th you can go to walkwayanniversary.com to get tickets i really i want to see each and every one of you guys there because this is not only going to be an incredible weekend like i said of patriotism unification bringing people together you know education fellowship which i think is sorely needed right now um, but it's really also going to be, I think, an opportunity for us to get together and remember the incredible work Walkaway's done over five years, what we still have to do. Uh, I've said before and I'll say again, we are not going to be able to save this country and be victorious when we need to be victorious if we are not able to successfully connect with people, walk away uh, voters and get them to wake up, think for themselves and walk away. And I think that is the work that we as an organization have done so brilliantly and effectively. Honestly, I think we're we're doing that work better than anybody else is doing, reaching across the aisle, connecting getting people to think for themselves and leave the left. And we're we're not going to be able to save this country without that. So this is a way that you can show your support for the organization. You can help us uh, to fundraise going into the next year. And you can be a part of an incredible weekend by by doing that. And really, it all kicks off on Friday night uh, with the official walk -a con event, which is what we're calling the stage extravaganza. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have videos, speakers, panels, all sorts of really cool stuff with all these great speakers. And then on Saturday, November 11th, during the day, we're going to do an outdoor Patriot rally, just something really fun to get together, to be outside, to kind of shout out, make our voices heard. And I mean, it's really going to be a lot of fun. And this will be right down the street from Mar-a-Lago as well. So, I mean, it's just a really cool, fun thing that we can all do together uh, that I think people are going to think is really a blast. Saturday night, we do the comedy roast event so we can have a lot of fun and laugh. I mean, incredible conservative comedians there like the Babylon Bees, Adam Yenser. We're going to have Alex Stein and Josh Denny. Uh, good friends like Katie Hopkins, David Harris Jr., Shamika Michelle, Dr. Simone Gold, uh, Mikey Harlow, and Sean Farish. Oh, I forgot Sean Farish when I mentioned the comedians. This guy's hilarious. I love Sean Farish. You guys are going to love him if you're not familiar. He's great. And, of course, our own Julie Kelly, I think probably the greatest investigative journalist on the topic of January 6th. She's really, really incredible. And then, of course, on Sunday, we're going to kick Sunday off with a brunch event that we're calling a Toast to Walk Away with Carrie Lake. And then immediately following the Carrie Lake brunch. And, by the way, um, if you get VIP tickets or, you know, tickets so you can get a weekend pass to all of these events for just $200, which is crazy. That includes brunch and a copy of Carrie Lake's book. But if you get the VIP pass, you'll get to go to the VIP cocktail and hors d'oeuvre reception on Friday night where you'll get to meet the speakers. You'll have preferred seating for all the events. You'll get the uh, special edition poster for the comedy roast, which will be signed, as well as pictures with the roasters. And you'll also get a signed copy of Carrie Lake's book and a picture with Carrie Lake. Then when that's over, we're doing the true stories of January 6th, the panel discussion with January 6th defendants, sharing their stories about what really happened on January 6th and what they went through after being FBI raided and incarcerated and going through their January 6th ordeal with the Department of Justice, which, you know, the timing of this conversation <laughs> is uh, pretty topical considering that just today a member of the Democrat Party, uh, a congressman from the Democrat Party, literally committed the federal crime of obstructing of an official proceeding, which is a felony. Uh, this is something that most J6ers are being charged with and many are going to prison for many years on. Um, and, of course, he also committed the federal crime of, fall of pulling off a fire alarm uh, we're, it remains to be seen if there will be any repercussions or consequences whatsoever. I'm not holding my breath. I don't think you should hold your breath. Uh, but we do know that if you're a Republican, you're going to be facing serious consequences for doing far, far less than what the Democrats do on a regular basis and get away with all the time. So uh, it's really, really disgusting. But, you know, again, these things are done to try to demoralize us. They're done to try to make us feel um, like we're basically existing in a system that's been turned upside down and the world has been turned upside down and that the criminals are running around loose uh, while people who try to defend themselves are the people who are going to end up being arrested and thrown in jail. 
Uh, if you're running into our country across the border, you're going to be you know, put on uh, uh, government assistance. Meanwhile, people in our own country are struggling and suffering and trying to figure out how to put gas in their car and buy groceries. This is what life is like under Democrat Party rule. It's insane. And we've got to put a stop to it. And the only way to put a stop to it is to win elections. And we're only going to win elections if we get people to wake up and walk away. So do you see this full circle moment that we're all having together? How are we going to get people to wake up and walk away? Through the education that we provide through the walkaway town halls, through the walkaway debates, through the outstanding video content that we create through all of the events that we do, the rallies, and, and all of the amazing things that we do with the walkaway movement. How do we do these things? Well, we do them through funding and through support from you guys. How can you guys help fund and support? First of all, of course, you can give on a monthly basis to the Walkaway Foundation, which I always encourage you to do. But then occasionally, we also throw these major walkaway weekends that you guys can come to. We try to make them as affordable for you as possible. And your contributions to these weekends are donations to the Walkaway Foundation. Your donations to the Walkaway Foundation also gives you access to these incredible events. So you're not just helping in doing, uh, giving to a good cause, but you're also treating yourself to an amazing weekend in the process. So I really want to encourage all of you to please go to walkawayanniversary.com, get your tickets. I absolutely encourage all of you to get weekend passes, um, whether you do the general admission or the VIP. Obviously, the VIP is going to give you special perks like preferred seating, uh, up close, uh, up front and center. Uh, it's also going to give you entrance to our cocktail and hors d'oeuvre reception where you get to meet the speakers and have uh, pictures and conversations, handshakes, things like that. Uh, and you're also going to get really cool stuff like signed posters, signed books and pictures. And th it's it's really great. And it's such a good value. Honestly, if you if anyone else were throwing this weekend, you'd be looking at thousands of dollars in tickets. But even if you do the VIP option for the entire weekend, just five hundred dollars. If you do general admission, just two hundred dollars for the entire weekend. And so I want to encourage all of you now get your hotel rooms, get your flights. Uh, we already have people. It's really, really cool. I was going through the tickets last night and looking. We already have so many people coming from California, from Washington, from Tennessee, uh, from Georgia, from Idaho, from Nebraska, from um, Montana. I mean, it was like states all over the place. Lots of people from New York, people from New Jersey. Um, so all over the country, people are coming from. So wherever you live, come. Let's have the most incredible weekend together. Just don't delay. Just do it now. I mean, because what's going to happen, you're going to waffle back and forth. Flights are going to get more expensive. We're going to sell out of hotels. Just make the decision now that this is the trip you're going to take and you're going to have an incredible time. Bring your friends, bring your family, get a group together. Come to WalkerCon weekend. It's going to be a blast, honestly. And you're going to leave feeling motivated. You're going to leave feeling I think educated, refreshed, you're going to feel uplifted, you're going to feel inspired. And people tell us all the time that they get there's no feeling that they get anywhere like they get when they come to a big walkaway weekend. Like when we did the walkway march on Washington or the unsilent march in 2020, uh, people just said this was the greatest weekend of my life and this will be no different. I promise you, you're going to love it. So Go to walkawayanniversary.com right now. Don't delay. Get your tickets. Come and join us in Florida. I promise you a weekend unlike any other you've ever had. You're going to love it. So, all right. With that, I'm going to get back to work because I actually have a lot of work to do for WalkerCon weekend. It's going to be pretty much seven days a week uh, for me uh, between now and then. So, I'm going to get back to work now. But as always, love you, Patriots. Have a great weekend. And I will see you at WalkaCon. Go to walkawayanniversary.com <clears throat> to get your tickets. Actually, really quick before I jump off, I'm going to jump back into the comments, see what you guys have to say. Um, give me a thumbs up if you guys are going to come to WalkaCon. If I, am I frozen? Come on now. Don't tell me I'm frozen. Uh, give me a thumbs up in the chat if you guys are coming to WalkerCon. I'm looking right now on my screen and I'm showing that I'm frozen, which is going to be very irritating to me if that's what's going on. Uh, but if not, give me a thumbs up in the chat, guys, if you guys can still see me, if you can hear me, and if you're planning to come to WalkerCon. 
All right, I'm going to log off because I actually don't. Okay, good. Someone says, no, you're fine. Great, 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 great. Perfect. Um, all right, I'm going to stay on for just a few more moments. Perfect, great. Says you're not frozen. Um, let me know. Say, type the word yes in the chat if you're planning to come to WakaCon weekend and you're going to be there. Type the word yes, throw it in the chat. I want to see. My chat's a few minutes behind, or I mean, it's a, it's a few seconds behind, so. All right, Cindy says yes. And Cindy's coming from Texas, which is fantastic. <laughs> Biden says, uh, Andrew says he's struggling with uh, Biden Bidenomics. Amy says yes. Awesome. Great. Well, uh, Amy, be sure if you haven't already, be sure to get your tickets now. Go to walkwayanniversary.com. Get your tickets. A lot of people are saying, I wish, I wish I could come. Uh, guys, just remember, I mean, we price this very, very low, and there's really not going to be an opportunity again i think with a value quite like this we're charging 200 dollars for the entire weekend and that's six events well five events if you're doing the 200 dollar ticket six events if you're doing the 500 hundred dollar ticket um but that's it that's truly pretty incredible you're going to get to see a weekend of amazing speakers you're going to have brunch you're going to get a signed copy of the book all of this for 200 dollars and if you get your flights and hotels now we have discounted hotels available for you on walkawayanniversary.com so uh, just be sure to get your tickets now and come join us because it's, uh, you know, an opportunity like this will not come around again. That I can assure you. All right, Patriots, I'm going to hop off here. You guys have an incredible weekend. Love you all. And I hope to see each and every one of you November 10th through the 12th in West Palm Beach, Florida at WakaCon.